Hi everyone, today we're going to learn how to move structures from one world to another in Minecraft education. So let's jump into it. So I'm using one of Stephen Reed's worlds here to basically take, we're going to take this structure from his world and we're going to actually put it into one of my worlds. We still need a structure block to do this. So we always go forward slash give at s structure block, hit enter, and you'll be given that structure block. Now, the easiest thing to work out where to put the structure block is always just place it down first and then work out which way it's going. It always moves in that direction away from the green line. So in this case, it would move towards that way. So away from us in front of us, we actually want it to go in the other direction. So just destroy it and essentially come up here I've got my little marker here ready to go and place it down and that's going to be perfect. Now we just right click on that block to open it and then we put in our coordinates to capture that space perfectly. And normally it's just really good to just, you know, just throw in big numbers and then work your way down based on what you know. And then you can start scaling down to you put it nice and perfectly. I happen to know my numbers so I'm just going to get that exactly how I want. There we go. So there's my structure, exactly how I want. I'm going to give this a name. Let's call it building. And then I'm going to click this here. I'm going to click export. Now I'm pretty sure export was always there. I'm just going to save that there to my desktop. There we go. And then I'm going to save. We're going to leave the world because I've got the blocks. I've got the structure that I want. And then what I'm going to do, let's go into the library and I'm grab one of my worlds so let's just let's just get like a plain grass world right and so that's now sitting that file which just could basically contains all of those blocks in the form of that structure is sitting on my computer and we used to have to go and find the location of where that sits and we had to drag it in and put all and it was an absolute nightmare and so, but now what i can do is this i'm gonna i'm gonna place my structure block down Okay, that's going to be fine. That's going to go in the direction that I want to do. If it's not, I'll show you in a second something to do. But what I'm going to do is instead of save, I'm going to go load, import, and then I'm going to go here, building one, because that's what I called it. And then I'm going to go open. And then you can see it knows the size. Now, my tip here, whenever you're working with things that already have build space around them, is go and just have a look, sorry, at the if you've got things in the way, you may need to destroy it, move it, put it, something, put it somewhere else. So we can open that up. We can go load. And then I, there it is. Done. Move from one world to the next. Now, just very quickly, if I, act, if I actually wanted that facing the other way, the completely the other direction, I just come down here and I go rotate. I want it 90 degrees, but if I want it completely flipped, I go 180. I just go load again. And flip it around. So now I'm at the back of it. So if I fly forward, there's the front. It is that easy. That's how simple it is now to move one structure from one world to the next. My only tip I'm going to give you is that there is a limit to how many you take. So your perimeter is 64 by 64. You've got a lot more leniency on height and depth. Keep that in mind. But there it is. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you have fun with it. Yes.